talk about that though today. I just want to talk to you about voice meter banana and how I have it set up. All right, so let me walk you through how I have voice meter banana set up. First of all, in hardware input one, I've got my microphone. That's the Yeti in this case. Uh, you just left click and select the device you want. I've got it on MME. I could do WDM. I researched it and there's not really that much of a difference um, unless you're monitoring, which I'm not monitoring. Um, hardware input two, I've got cable output, which is the audio from the computer. So if I ding the computer real quick, you'll see that that goes out. Um, and then uh, hardware th uh, input three, I don't have anything selected. Uh, by the way, to deselect a device, you just select remove device selection. Uh, so nothing, I've got nothing set up there. You might have something else you want on there. Uh, not really sure. Then there's this section here with virtual inputs. I'm actually not 100% sure on what those are. I can't recall, but this is how I have it set up. I've got A1 and B1 set up and then A2, A1 and B, A2 set up over here at zero. I haven't really messed with that at all. I'm pretty sure that's how it came selected. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm not 100% sure on what that actually is. Then over here in the master section, this is kind of like your outputs. Um, and these A1, A2, A3, B1, and B2 all correspond with the A1, A2, A3, B1, B2 over here on these buttons. Now, what you do over here is similar to what we did for hardware input uh, selection. <clears throat> we select the uh, output for A1. In this case, I'm using my speakers for A1. I'm using my Yeti uh, headphones out for 